Lake Monterey, another beautiful day. We're going to do a little comparison today on what I can see on the screen of my Garmin Striker fish finder and what shows up on the little camera I have down on my downrigger. Just for reference, this straight line is my downrigger. All of these underwater scenes were shot between 65 and 90 feet deep. You can see here where a fish comes up and follows for a while and then drops off. You can see where this guy comes in, plays around with a bait, goes away a little bit and then comes back, drops off. Here I've got one fish that comes up and plays with the bait and then another one joins in the fun. One drops off and the other one keeps following for quite a while. Here's another one where one fish comes into the picture and then another one joins them and they both hang around but one seems to stay out of the picture a little bit and just kind of comes in here and there. I've got a number of clips like this one where fish just comes up and just follows for a long, long time. I never realized these fish just followed the lure for so long. Now I have to admit it did get kind of frustrating watching these guys follow for such a long time without biting. So I was actually changing baits and changing scents, changing speeds, just to try to get these things to bite. This is actually a pretty cool clip. This guy comes up and grabs the bait and trips the release. 
but doesn't get hooked. He started to chase the bait up to the surface, but then he noticed a shiny spinner blade on the camera housing. And so he came down to check that out. And he just stayed by the camera checking this out. He actually hit the camera a couple of times. And this is just to prove that I did actually catch some fish this season. <laughs> hey, and if you liked the video, please hit that subscribe button.